you know, when I was working on this project, uh, 61, I chose the name, the collection of this work, 61, because it took me 61 years just to find the freedom in my own spirit to express my truth, you know, and stop hiding, hiding from myself and hiding myself from others. Long story short, but a good story. You know, it's funny, we all got stories we can share about ourselves and our journey that could probably help someone else. It's all about what I realized that my life and my living is not for me. It's not for me alone. What keeps me going is living my life for somebody else, inspiring someone else and not myself, not only myself. But anyway, while I was working on this project, um, the title of this song was Brown Babies. Brown Babies Overcome. And it's funny, when I create music, I never go into creating music with an idea I already formulated in my mind. I can't create like that. I like it to happen spontaneously, like right there on the spot, you know, and then record it. Record it while it's happening. And then go back and listen to it. Sometimes I'm amazed at the words that come out of my mouth. And how they're put together. And I can see the story. And I used to try hard to do that. And I realized me being myself and the free to be who I am and express myself. I have to be very authentic in order for the gift to come out and it comes out for me when I hear music I hear music and it's like the music is telling me how to sing or my soul interprets the music and kind of leads me on on a direction I never know what's going to happen I never know what direction I'm going to go in and I never know how the music is going to make me feel when I hear it all together after I create it. So little brown baby, brown babies. I was thinking about so many people, so many young men have died by the hands of policemen. You know what I understand where they're coming from? They probably scared to death. And yeah. And their fear. Causes policemen to be aggressive toward them. That's what I believe. And they get killed. It's something about a black person. A black young man. And how he. How he is. Defensive in his own life. Based on his surroundings. And how he's been treated. And been told to fear a white man. You can see what the. What the problem is. But it's up to the white man. To ever recognize that there is a problem in the police department. Why do people become policemen? Have their desires changed? Have their prejudice and their hatred ruled their decisions? How could they be more effective in hurting someone? Is it by being a policeman? These things need to be checked. We have to reimagine the policemen and hold them accountable. If you don't hold them accountable, then you leave us in a place where we can be targeted and killed and get away with it legally. We better wake up and we are woke. Anyway, I got a lot to say about that, but we're talking about this song. I decided that it's time for me to use my own voice. Use something for real. You know, just not plan a song and post it, but have it have some meaning. When I was looking at the pictures, I thought I would add the pictures, thinking about the mothers. Thinking about the mothers, too many mothers cry, bearing their young men. And too many of the fathers, they're in jail, taken to jail by the police. And then, then they end up being victimized by the police and even killed. The ones that make it to jail, <laughs> that's like, well, you made it through. You got to jail. Now they're killing the young men, not even taking them to jail. They don't want to do the paperwork or have to answer to it. 
So to shoot him was easier. A policeman's job shouldn't be easy just to kill someone. Oppose the law, but not create a situation to provoke a person to break the law in your own nasty little way. You know who you are. You know if you're a good cop and you know if you're a compromised cop. You know it. And we all know it, but it's the leaders have to make a difference. And if we're the ones that are being killed and you're not going to want to address it, how should we address it? How should we really address it? How many of us are you going to kill before you stop killing us legally? But anyway, like I said, I got a lot to say about that. But I don't want to live in this world. I'm afraid of the policemen. I just got, you know, got used to not being fearful of white people. And then the ones that's killing me are white. And they have policemen. They can talk to me any kind of way they want to. If they want to. Treat me good or treat me bad. It will be their choice and how they feel that day. They can't afford to have a bad day. If you're having a bad day, don't come to work. Without pay or with pay. You're going to have bad days. Don't bring that, that attitude to other people on the streets who are scared of you. And you take advantage of that, thinking that you are powerful. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, let's say, Brown Babies. I created this song not knowing what I was singing at the time that I sung it. I look back at it and listen to it now and it's like, wow. It has so much meaning in those words. How it's phrased. So I said, I want to give a tribute to the mothers. Mother Days is coming up. And some of these mothers, their lives have been changed. They won't, we won't hear their loved one say Happy Mother's Day. And I thought about it. Those mothers are alive and living today. Going on with their lives by the grace of God. And I wanted to just uh, let them know I'm praying for them and letting them know that they have not been forgotten. And justice will prevail. Every person's life that shed their blood is bringing about change. One day. So remember the mothers on Mother's Day. And me, and me myself, I don't want my mother to get a report about me being killed by a policeman while she's living. You know what I'm saying? That would hurt her. I don't want her hurt. Not like that. So to all the mothers who miss their loved ones, Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for all that you've done. All that you were willing to do to make my life better, bringing me into this world. I thank you. And I'm sorry. I'm not here to tell you that I love you. And happy Mother's Day. I do believe brown babies overcome. On their knees, praying, help us please. Brown babies. I bless this song and I pray it will bring hope and comfort to all those that hear. Amen. Amen.